All right, first and foremost, I want to give all the honors, the praises, and the glory belongs to my Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh by Sham Yahavashai Bahasham Wahavakar Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahavashai, in who I reverence and honors to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. All right. And this lesson is going to be straight to the point. We are not ignorant of Satan's devices. We're not ignorant to what he's doing, his schemes, his plans. All right. We're going to start with 2 Corinthians, Baba Kashar. We know what's going on. Okay. We can see. This is 2 Corinthians 11. We can see you. All right. It says, lest Satan should get an advantage of, of us. For we are not ignorant of his devices. So we know Satan has devices. What's that word for device in the Hebrew? It's mashama. Mashama. Plan. Scheme. Right? So he uses schemes. We're not ignorant to those schemes. Quickly want to go to this in a new translation. Right? Check this out. For we are not ignorant of his schemes. Right? So that's the thing. That's how he has an advantage over the elect. And that's how he has an advantage. So like that's how he has an advantage over what the people. He doesn't have an advantage over the elect. No, he has an advantage over the what? The masses because they're ignorant of what the enemy is doing. Okay. And we're going to go into it. We're going to go into it. Have you ever watched that movie Transcendence? Right? He's got wires in the back of his head. He's being trapped. We're going to speak on this. We're going to speak on this program. Right? And the only reason we're going to speak on this program so you can be enlightened. Right? Because I don't want brothers to and sisters to focus on that. And we're going to go into this whole thing. The new role models. We're going to go into all of it. Okay? So let's go to Psalms, Baba Kishore. These people, they put technology over the most high. Bro, bro, it's not going to work. Yahweh has already won, right? The rulers of the earth, they believe in science. They believe in witchcraft and science, right? We believe in the scriptures. That's what we believe in, right? This is Psalm 64, okay? Hear my voice, O Yahweh, I in my prayer. Preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. So this was a prayer on Psalms of King David. Right? So it did show you at a point he was fearing the enemy. And he says, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. So we know the wicked that are ruling today, we're having secret councils. We're having secret meetings. And how they can stop this truth. Because it's getting out there. That's why they try to censor everything, right? From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Insurrection means to, to rise within, right? So this all starts what inwardly, right? Of the workers of iniquity. That's where you get your agents, your agents of confusion, right? Your anarchists, right? And so forth. Because Esau loves confusion. Because when you're confused, you don't know what's going on. The workers of iniquity. So who are the workers of iniquity today? It begins with the elites. Right? Then on down. Right? Anyone that's following the program. Okay? Workers of iniquity. Yeah, you're contractors as well. Not all of them, but most of them. They're workers of iniquity. They're doing the devil's bidding. Right? Your ambulance services, the police squad, your firemen, right? They're all a part of what this system, okay? And this program has really opened my eyes up to a lot of things, a lot of corruption, a lot of wickedness. So it's really, it's here to, some are saying, no, it ain't here to help you. No, if you're spiritually minded, you could use this as just ammunition to help you. Right? Because the house said, whatever, whatever trial we go through is for our betterment. Okay? So it really works for us. 
Okay, it's just that these people they don't realize they're being manipulated and mind controlled by a technology, whether they know it or not. Okay, and that's why people are acting very, very, very um out of character, weird man, because it's technology that's doing it, right? And it says, really, you know what? No, I've got to stop saying that it's demons, right? But the demons, what they use technology, right? And it says, verse 3, who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. So this was happening, right? They're bending their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. That's their legislation that they're putting out. Don't really have no rights. They want to take all that away. They want to take all those rights, so-called rights away and your, your security. Right, which you basically you, you you gave that away. The moment you said now, um, I want to um be a community watcher, community watcher. You gave your security away to the state because you're an idiot. That's why that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. So this is what's going on. They shoot in secret, spiritually. And physically, because they're also using what frequency weapons as well. So they're shooting secret at the perfect. Who are the perfect? Re-elect. This is what they're doing. Right? Thinking nobody sees. And fear not. Because there's no fear of them. Because if they really fear, they wouldn't be doing that. Or maybe we shouldn't be doing this. But they're proud. Verse 5. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. So they all get together. Yeah, we can do this. We can get we can get this sorted. We can get this NWO on, underway. Come on. They commune of laying snares. So they all meet in private. They all have their little council meetings, the community council meetings. Yeah, you know, there's this one individual. He believes in the Bible. You know, we need to try and get, get rid of it. Bro, the Lord sees what you're doing, right? They commune of laying snares. What's a snare? A gin, a trap. Privily, and the snares could be a wire, a device, all right, electronical devices. That's a snare, right? That's a trap. Okay, the scriptures talk about a bird catcher. What was Esau? A cunning hunter of the field. When you go back to what he was, his characteristics. So, them same characteristics are being used today. Remember, this man deals with cunning. Craft. So if you do with cunning craft, you're an expert in setting what laying traps. And that's why we have to be what circumspect. Because there's always traps that this devil's trying to lay before you to catch. And that's where you get that word what a fowler, which is a bird catcher. Okay. Quickly go to Psalms 124. And six, blessed be the Lord Yahweh power who have not given us as a prey to their teeth. To whose teeth? The wicked. Right? Verse 7. Our soul has escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. This is why you always got to pray every single day. You, you've you never really known the extent. All these years since you've been in the truth. You've never really known the extent. You've known. You've had a, a whereabouts of all right, the Esau's plotting. But you don't know what traps he's actually laid before you during the day. You don't know the angels, they, look, you wanted to go here, they had you go somewhere else. You wanted to go there, they had you go somewhere else. Right? Because it's been all types of traps set for you. That's why, and that's why prayer is so important. Right? Remember, this man is very, very carnal. Okay? Our soul was escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. Remember, their whole thing is to frame you, to frame deceit. It tells, it tells you that in Psalms as well. This man frames deceit. He wants to frame you. We're dealing with the devil here. Okay. The snare is broken and we are escaped because Yahweh allowed you to escape. He got you out of that situation. Our help is in the name of the Lord, Yahweh, who made heaven and earth. 
bro, you can't battle this program by yourself. I hear many people talking about it. I defeated, I, de I defeated gangstalking in the program. No, you didn't. Anybody that tells you that is a liar. Right? The only way you can defeat is by you have a shite. And as long as you're here, as long as you're in this flesh, as long as you're on this earth, we're going to deal with that because it's persecution. And it's just people being manipulated, yeah, more so by the higher powers and by tech. Go back to 64, Psalm 64, right? They encourage, and five, they encourage themselves in an evil matter, right? So they get together, okay? Yeah, yeah, S send out the dog units, the dog section, right? Give these people, give these people free dogs, pay them off, give them gift cards, give them cars, you know? Nice them up, nice them up, you know? Go, go in the neighborhoods, teach these, tell these people lies, spread rumors, Right about this individual. Try to isolate him. Try to smear campaign him. Bro, but it's not working. <laughs> it's not working. Alright? They encourage themselves in the evil matter. They commune we already we already went to that. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, Who shall see them? So these people they lack the fear of Yahawashai. Not knowing that Yahawashai sees them. He saw you when you done that. When you made that silly move. Verse 5. They encourage themselves in an the evil matter. We already read to that. They search out iniquities. Well how do they search out iniquities? These think tanks have been here for a long time. Since Tavistock. Since the Tavistock Institute. Alright. That's how they're able to search out. They have your background records. Yeah they know. Alright they know somewhat a lot about you because they have the tech for that Tavistock Institute ne Neuro right Neuro um, data centers right they've been doing this for, for years right from the moment you're born yeah you're being studied you're being watched you want this? from the moment you're born from the moment you come out of the womb you're being monitored by the enemy <clears throat> and it was the same when you go back to Egypt Pharaoh, what was Pharaoh doing? Right? Wanting to kill every firstborn male, Israel. But he kept the women alive. Because <clears throat> it's the males that really pose a threat. Not, not so much the women. So it's the same thing in the time of what? Egypt. And it's the same thing again today. Okay? And it says they search out iniquities. Right? What's his background? Do a background search. Right? They got, they got all that information. And they got information about your father's 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 father and your mother's mother's mother. They got all that. Right? They accomplish a diligent search. Right? Where does he live? You know? All of that. Right? What store does he go to? Right? It's all... They all do these things so they could try to lay these snares. Right? Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. Right? So they're able to do particular studies, right? Research labs, right? They have they have their own scientists. Esau pays these scientists, right? Neuroscience, they call it. But the most I shall shoot at them with an arrow. That's what they don't realize. And the arrow is going to be in terms of the different nations in World War Three. Suddenly, should they be wounded? So should they make their own tongue to fall upon themselves? And that's why you have today whistleblowers of their own nation telling the masses of what's going on your corrupt governments and so forth right and all men shall fit and declare the work of the most high for they shall wisely consider his doing the righteous shall be glad in the lord jehovah and shall trust in him and all the upright in heart shall glory so stop being stop getting down about this right these things are supposed to happen everybody's being monitored but it's just that we elect they're being more so monitored so you have these government corporate agencies that are turning people against each other whether they know it or not they're turning people because they need confusion right they create don't you understand they create terror they create terrorists <laughs> yes i know it sounds bad your own government create these so-called terrorists by what harassment by provoking. 
they have technology that can turn someone that's good hearted, right, and turn them evil. They have the tech to do that, right? But it's not going to work with the elect. That's the only thing. So now I want to give brothers some advice because I've watched countless and I'm still watching videos, countless videos on this so-called targeting. But if we don't read the scriptures, yeah, how are you going to be able to deal with these things? And my whole thing is, excuse me just a minute. Go to Timothy's. My whole thing is, whatever you focus on the most, that becomes you. Go to Timothy's first, 2 Timothy 3 and 11. Persecutions and afflictions which came unto me in Antioch, Iconium, at Lystra. So these were three different regions where Paul was being persecuted. What persecutions I endured. <laughs> Look up that word persecution, right? And see what comes up. Hassle, to provoke, to harass. So these things, are, they're supposed to happen. It's supposed to happen, right? But out of them, all the Lord Jehovah delivered me. That's what mindset we got to have, okay? Yeah, and all that will live godly and Mashiach shall suffer persecution. So if you're truly living godly, you're going to suffer that persecution. That means you're in the right place. Don't let them fool you. That means you're in the right place. Okay, it's not nice, but that's what you have to go through. Okay, and you know the beautiful thing is about this? Use it to your advantage. Everything the enemy throws at us, you got to think, well, how can I use it to my advantage? And that's what you got to do. All right. So what? You're being monitored 24 hours a day. You, you're on um, network TV where people could see what you're doing at the trip. So what? So what? So now if you think if you think about that too much, you're going to start acting erratically. Right? Just think of the time when you never really knew that you were on the program. Well, how was you acting before? See what I mean? It's about altering the mind, altering how you act is to get you to act a particular way so others can say well hold on a minute this don't he's not acting quite right so now they can use that to their advantage that's why you have to stay within the spirit and not focus on what they're doing this whole neural monitoring is basically is mind control it's mk ultra so a lot of brothers i don't even think they realize they're on the mk ultra program right that's what it is Right, like Britney Spears. You remember when she shaved her head bald? She was, <laughs> she was on the MK Ultra program, right? But now, are you supposed to be consumed by that? No, because if you have faith, well, they can't. Well, what can they do? Right? Well, they can measure your frequency. So what? But they have to continue, continually do it. If the people have to continually harass you, that that means, and they have to turn it up because from last week, bro, they've turned it up big time. So obviously something ain't working. <laughs> okay, these people, they, they, they're small-minded. They're small in the mind, right? So you're going to suffer persecution. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. So these are seducers we're dealing with. Evil men. Witches as well, right? It says they were going to wax worse and worse. You look at some of these people, they're looking worse. <laughs> right? Deceiving and being deceived, Right? Remember, this is a psychological operation. More so, do you know what I call it? It's warfare. Right? So you've got to be able to deal with it accordingly. It's, you know, it's, it's spiritual warfare. I don't like to make excuses. It's spiritual warfare. Talk about technology, whatever. So what? It's, that's still incorporated into spiritual warfare. How do we know? When you go to Ephesians 6 and 11. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. One of my favorite scriptures battle against principalities and dark forces it tells you that in a new translation dark forces so what's part of them dark forces Esau's AI that's a dark force all right his tech that's a dark, so that's what you're against all right CERN all right CERN DARPA that's dark forces of manipulation Science mixed in with witchcraft, that's what you're against. 
Okay. Now, are you going to believe in science more than you believe in Yahweh Shai? Well, really, science means wisdom anyway. Right? But they believe in the science in terms of what they can see or what they can do. Because they're carnal. Right? And they create illusionary sensory as well. All this. I want to explain. We're going to bring it all out. They also create, try to create illusions, which makes them what? Witches and warlocks. So they will use lighting systems and so forth. Set to what, what they call it? Illusion. Sensory. Sensory systems to get you focused on that. Right? Because they're trying to get a data of your eye as well, your retina, all these things. And your retina is connected to your brain. Just like your spinal cord is connected to what your brain. Right? So they're going all out. And this is how we know we're at the end. Revelation 12 and 12. For the devil know if he has a short time. So he cometh down with great wrath. This is the great wrath. Right? Live your, live your life. Don't let these people stop you. Because they're not living their lives. You have about a hundred odd people. More than a hundred people. They have to follow you. They have to follow you. So what does that say? They have no power. Now, does it give them the illusion that they have power? Yeah, yeah, I want to join. I want to join the club. I want to I wanna watch him because that gives them the false illusion of power. They're not controlling anything. They have to report back to their handlers. Well, how did he react? Did he get a reaction? Right? It's all designed in that way. Right? That's why when you go to the store, you will have someone that will try to bump into you. Oh, sorry. Sorry. They want a reaction. Or you have someone that's standing somewhere. Right? Because it's neural monitoring. And this only works. The only way it works, right, is one of the major ways is by using trauma. So they will try to traumatize you. Because that's the easiest way as well. That it works to traumatize someone. And that's why they will use people around you. Right? Or try to use fear. Okay? And by doing that, remember, remember, they're trying to measure your mind, your brain. Like what makes you tick. So they're creating patterns to get you to react. So you may say, well, how do, how do they know where I'm going to go? Off the particular patterns and particular measurements they've kept. So example, you went to the shop, right? You went to the shop, you, you, what's it? You started cooking and you started to do something else. Based off that data, right? They're able to say, well, he's going to go there. Example, you're going to catch a train. You're going to go to Beckton. So if you keep on going to Beckton, you catch, you catch the same bus, all right? It's going to be here at this time. It's going to be there at that time. It's based off patterns, right? So what does this mean? You just be what's spontaneous. So when you're spontaneous, you're breaking that pattern of the matrix because that's what it's based on, right? Your patterns, everyday patterns, right? And that's how they're able to what, monitor. Say, well, he's going to do this. He's going to be there. Stay right there. You go here. And this is what they do. They position people around you to give you the illusion Oh, there's no escape. No, no, they've just they've just monitored the patterns of what where you were gonna go, where you were gonna be, and that's it. <laughs> okay. They're not God. They're not they're not them because then they wouldn't need to do that. Okay. And the main thing, my advice to you do not respond to the neural program. Ignore all provocation. Ignore all of it. Right? If people want to slam, if people want to slam doors, let them slam, let them slam the doors like petulant children. Right? If people want to beep, 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 why do they do that? Right? To get you acting out of character and to see how your mind's going to react. Now, I'm not saying shut off your mind now because you don't want to completely shut your mind off, but you don't give them an emotional response because this is how the neural monitoring only works if you have an emotional response. Right, and by that it collects the data of what makes you tick. So whatever makes you tick, that's what they mark down. And by that they're able to tell these people, do this. This is what makes them tick. Do that, and that's that's it. 
all right? And therefore, they can't measure if there's no reactions. If you don't give them no reaction, it doesn't work. It don't work. That's why they have they say to people, walk in front of him, walk around him, make sure he sees you to see what your response is. Remember, when you're on the phone, they've already tapped into the data on your phone. Remember, they've already got it linked in. They already got this supercomputer linked in with your device. This is it's, it is advanced. It's advanced. So, anytime you do a video and your face is on it, they're measuring your frequency and how you're reacting to these people, even in conversations. So even when people will say certain things, yep, they're measuring how you're reacting to it. All in tech, and the best thing to do basically, you, you just be spontaneous. And you may want to change. And you know what, you know what, you know what? If they can't get your attention, that's when they start using the energy weapons. Right? Because remember, this is about control. With these, it's about control. Right? Someone, so, someone found you so threatening, someone fears you that much, they felt the need to control you. Mentally. That's a psychopath. But that's the way of the devil, isn't it? Right, so you're that you're that powerful. This word is that powerful that someone feels the need to control your every single move. Okay, excuse me, just a minute. So we went to that. We'll go to Matthew six and nine. Okay. Good try, though. Good try. Right. <laughs> Let's go to Matthew six. And go straight to verse 21. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. This is your Shai speaking. Right? So what we value the most, that's where our heart is going to be. So if your heart's always on, oh bro, I'm, I'm being followed, they're monitoring me, I'm on close, I'm on close um circuit TV. Right? I'm on a closed network TV. If your mind's focused on that, guess what you're gonna be doing? You're gonna be giving them your power. And then that's going to become your reality. Right? You don't want it to get to that point. Remember, it's about mind control. This is about manipulation we're dealing with here. Okay? The light of the body is the eye. And when it says your eye, yes, your, your physical eye and your mind. And that's why he so knows this. That's why he wants to get you distracted. Just check out the patterns. Check out every time you do a lesson, most of the time I would say, what happens? There's some type of form of distraction or someone that Esau sends by his AI and they tell this person, go here, turn on the lawnmower, bang the door, <laughs> uh, get the dogs to bark. Bro, it's a form of distraction. So you knowing that, this gives us an advantage. Well, you got to put two and two together. They're trying to get you to not focus on your Hawashai so you can what? Elevate in the spirit. And that's all That's all it is. All they can do is try to obstruct you. They can't stop you from going anywhere. All they can do is obstruct you and try to make it harder. That's why when you're traveling, it may say, well, um, on, on, on the board, five minutes. Then all of a sudden, uh, 25 minutes. Because they're trying to obstruct you they're trying to make your life hard right and that's all it is okay the light of the body is the eye if the eye be single so my eyes need to be single what does single mean focused right the whole body shall be full of light so this teaches us yeah we need to be focused on your how we shine and that's it don't worry about what these other people are doing they're doing it to try and get you off what? Ready, they're trying to steal your crown. They want you, they want you to fall out. They want you to join them because misery loves company. Right? If people are talking loud, so what? Let them talk loud. They want your attention. You are the star of the show. It's not that you want to be, but you are the star of the show. Remember, they, they have to move at your beat. It's not the other way around. Right? You don't have to move at their beat. They have to move at your beat. <laughs> so who's really in control? Hmm? But if the eye be evil, their eye is evil. That's why they're doing evil things. The whole body shall be full of darkness. 
If therefore the light is in thee, be darkness. How great is that darkness? So really, they want our eyes to be dark, unfocused, wary, doubtful, right? Wicked. That's what happens when your eye is not single, right? If you want to sit home and study for an hour or two, you study for an hour and two, right? Do things to get your mind off the programming and the neural monitoring, right? Because they do have yeah, particular technology to um, try to sway your mind and try to pull unholy thoughts in your mind. They have that technology, right? And the best way to overcome that, there's, there's certain things is by what? Redirection. And the best redirection is the scriptures. That's the best <laughs> redirection, okay? And this ain't gonna go on, it's not gonna go on forever, okay? It's not going to go on forever because guess what? When Jacob's trouble happens, it's going to be all man for himself. Every man for himself. All right? All it, all it takes is, again, is another outbreak. You're not going to be able to follow people. You ain't going to be able to do that. That's why they had a hard time in that last pandemic. They had to keep their distance. All right? So all this is going to come to the end. The house of cards is falling. These people, they're desperate. They basically, they sold their soul, right? I don't have any handlers, <laughs> right? I don't have no handlers. Well, guess what? When you were, when I was born, I had handlers, but I didn't realize I had handlers, right? Until you wake up to the truth. Okay, these people, they have handlers. They're told where to go, where to park, where to stand, what to wear. Oh, we're going to put on blue today. Let's wear blue. You flipping idiots. Idiots. Right? Or what colour are we gonna wear today? Let's let's wear let's wear pink, let's wear red. It shows you these people they they're under that control. Mind could that's that's mind control. Right? If I wear blue, I'm wearing blue because I want to wear blue, not because someone told me to. Idiots. The light of the body, but if the eye be evil, the whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light is in thee, be darkness. How great is that darkness? And it's very great. That's why it says, verse 24, no man can serve two masters. They're already showing you who they serve. Bro, you're either on the side of Yahawashai or you're on the side of darkness, the devil. There's no in between. There's no gray areas. And these people, they're showing you openly who they serve. For evil, he will hate the one and love the other, or else he would hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve the most. I am Mammon. Mammon is the god of money, and this is what what people are doing, right? And they don't get paid much. They don't. They don't get paid much. They get paid just about enough to keep them coming back for more, right? That's all. They get paid just about enough to keep coming back for more, right? Their handlers just give them enough, okay? Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat, what you shall drink, nor for you yet for your body, what you shall put on. It's not the life more than meat and body more than raiment. But these people, they have have you convinced. Oh, no, but uh, uh, just focus on this. No, I'm focusing on the scriptures while you're focusing on me. <laughs> okay. So there's many ways to overcome this program. And yeah, you are, particular people are right. You may want to, yeah, change particular patterns that you have. And they could be negative patterns because that's how they do things. That's how they get a whereabouts. So he's going to do this next. He's going to do that next by patterns. And he's going to go down this street. Why? Because he usually goes down that street all the time. That's basic. You don't even need technology to do that. These people, they're not too bright. Oh, he's going to go down this street. Why? Because he usually goes down that street. Usually. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's, he's going to go downstairs. He's going to walk downstairs. He's going to pick up weights. And if, if I'll probably, I'll, if you want me to, I'll tell you what I'm going to do next. Right? Uh, I might do a bit of cooking next. I'll do some cooking. Then I might read the scriptures again. Then I might read a health book. You want to know? I'm telling you. Right? Fuck out of here. Okay? So the best way to beat it, basically, you just move with the spirit. You're not, you're not overly thinking. They want you to overly think. They want you to focus on that. Don't focus on that. Because I always say, well, how was you acting before you realised you were being targeted? And that's what you've got to do. 
right? Be yourself. Go to John 3. And so what if they're watching you? Yeah, when you turn on the tablet or your laptop, they can see what you're searching. So what? It don't matter. It don't matter. All right? Go to John 3. The spirit is like the wind. Go to John 3. So can they predict what you're doing? I still say, no, they can't. They're not, they're not the Heavenly Father. They're not Yahweh Shai. Can they have an idea of what you're going to do? Yes, of, of previous data. Of previous data. And when you break that pattern, they need to start all over again because you're a glitch in the matrix. <laughs> okay? You're a glitch in the matrix. Okay? People are just seen as what? Batteries. Energy for what? The system. That's all they're seen as. Okay, go to John 3. And 8. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but cannot tell whence it cometh. So you cannot tell what, what, what direction the wind is blowing in, but you can hear the sound, right? Okay, but cannot tell whence it cometh, and where it goeth. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. So it's the same as those that are born of the Spirit. So we don't need to do much. You just move with the spirit of your habit and that's it. You overly thinking. They want you to do that. To overly think and to lean on your own and saying you just move with the spirit. They can't read the spirit of your habit. Right? And that's what they're trying to do. Get into your mind. Right? I know it's really, it's really sick. These people are really sick. But that's the mind of Esau. That's Esau. He wants to control every every single facet of your life. That's what he wants to do, right? That's why so-called white people like to buy dogs because it gives them that feeling of, oh, I'm in control. And a lot of time, a lot of them, why do they get them black dogs as well? That's, that's a racial thing, I'm telling you, right? They need to be in control, right? And if they're not in control, they feel a particular way. So let me see if there's anything else. Um, that was pretty, oh, you know what, that's pretty much it. The basically, the way you overcome this program, and you know what, it's already been written, the elect have already overcome, they've already got the victory. Right? No matter how much neural monitoring, what, what, whatever they do, it doesn't matter. Just because they're doing these things, it doesn't mean you're not of the elect, you're still of the elect. It don't matter. You're of, if you're of the elect, you're of the elect, there's nothing they can do to stop that. Right? But what they want, they want the body, the mind, and the soul. Going back to Revelations 13 and 16. This week, I've been doing a whole load of lessons on that as well. The tech and what this man really wants. He wants people controlled. He doesn't want you to have thoughts of your own. You know that's threatening to his system. We're going to shut off as well. Right? He doesn't want anybody to have any type of thoughts of their own. Because anybody that has a thought of their own, that's their deem as a threat to this society. Right? They want everybody in that. Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. The hive mind. Right? The lesson might be called that. The hive mind. <laughs> okay, maybe just a minute. Go to Psalms. That's exactly what it is. It's the hive mind. Right? And the CIA, the, M the MI, what do you call it? MI6, whatever they call that rubbish. MI5, MI6. They operate in the hive mind. And the hive mind is those that are part of the program and that are juiced into the system. That's why they all think the same, right? They all do that same signaling because they're part of the hive mind. They're all connected. They're all connected. And they want you connected, right? Go to Psalms 118. This is a prayer, by the way, right? And six, the Lord Yahweh is on my side. I will not fear what man can do unto me. The Lord Yahweh taketh my part with them that help me. Right, so you may have brothers and sisters, they help you, they give you good words, right? Therefore, shall I see my desire upon them that hate me, and we're going to see it. It is better to trust in the Lord, you have a shy, than to put confidence in what man. It is better to trust in the Lord, you have a shy, than to put confidence in princes. Verse 10 All nations can pass me about, Woo! but in the name of the Lord, you have a shy, would I destroy them? So nations, what, can pass what David about? He was surrounded. So even David went through the same thing. He was compassed by these other nations. Sometimes it, part of this program as well is to have you feel like you're, um, you're boxed in. 
part of the program is to make you feel like your world is small. That's part of the program. That's why they have to, they have to have people that are set up around you constantly, 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 no matter where you go. They have to do that. So that's called being what compassed about. Okay, see the scriptures deal with everything. But in the name of the Lord Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, would I destroy them? So we're going to destroy them by our power. Right? And don't be surprised when you hear things happening to these same people that were following you. You may hear, oh, this guy got in a car crash, he's no longer here. Right? Okay, you're going to start hearing all types of things. Right? This person tripped over and bust his head and he's now in hospital. You're going to start hearing all types of things. And that's when people may start taking it seriously. Maybe we better stop now. Right? But it's too late. Because if you took money, now you're compromised. And now they can use that against you. Okay? Some people get blackmailed to do this as well. They can pass me about, yeah, but can pass me about, but in the name of the Yahavashai, we would destroy them. They can pass me about, like, bees. That's the hive mind. And bees, what? They have a hive. Right? They are quenched as a fire of thorns. For in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. That has thrust sorrow at me that I might fall. But the Lord, Yahweh help me. The Lord, Yahweh is my strength and song. And has become my salvation. The voices of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacles of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord, Yahweh do it valiantly. The right hand of the Lord, Yahweh is exhorted. The right hand of the Lord, Yahweh do it valiantly. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord Jehovah. The Lord Jehovah have trusted me so, yeah, with the energy weapons, with the provocation, but he have not given me over to death. Open me to the gates of righteousness. I will go in unto them. I will praise the Lord Jehovah. Risk gate of the Lord Jehovah into which the righteous shall enter. So the scriptures even deal with the hive mentalities. David went through the same thing. David was a great king. But even these things happened to him. And who was he relying upon? Yahweh Shai. So no matter what situation we're in, we have to rely on Yahweh Shai. Okay? And this is just a part of the battle. It's not going to be forever. Right? See, they want you to think it's going to be forever. They want you to have a they want you to have a short life. They want you to panic. Right? Live your life and continue to be happy. Right, and when I mean happy, I'm talking about happy for the for the kingdom, right? The right happiness, not foolish, fully happy. Okay, not Premier League. Oh, we're watching the Premier League. Um, no, no, true happiness, which which is within the scriptures, which no man can or woman can take away. Okay, so with this, I hope this was edifying, and unto the next one. Shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom.